China's Particle Beam Weapon System A Game-Changing Trump Card Why can't the U.S. build it even with $794 million? Why can China penetrate 10 centimeters of alloy in 0.1 seconds? I'm Lao Zhou, an old military enthusiast who's been immersed in the defense industry for 20 years. Over these years, I've watched China's military industry go from following to catching up to leading today. What truly excites me the most is the recent black technology that forced the Pentagon to hold an emergency meeting overnight, the particle beam weapon system. When a 0.1 mm diameter particle beam pierced the sky, a target simulating an intercontinental ballistic missile instantly disintegrated in the distance, its electronic bay incinerated into mere residue 10 kilometers away. Even more shocking, as a certain country spy satellite approached low Earth orbit, the moment the test site's launcher activated, the satellite turned directly into space junk, and the U.S. Space Force's monitoring screens immediately went blank. This isn't science fiction, this is the new set of rules China's defense industry is writing for warfare. How difficult is this technology? In 2018, Europe and the U.S. jointly embargoed core components of superconducting magnets, declaring, China won't be able to build a prototype in 20 years. But the University of Science and Technology of China, USTC, team insisted on pushing through, breaking through resistive acceleration ring technology in 2023, with 80% lower energy consumption than European and U.S. equipment. The China Electronics Technology Group Corporation, CTC, 14th Research Institute was even more relentless, creating the world's first 10,000-ton level electromagnetic device, forcefully increasing the beam intensity which was considered a theoretical limit abroad, by three times. When the first particle beam was fired from the Northwest test site, the world finally understood, China's defense industry has never stopped at merely catching up, it is redefining the rules of the battlefield. Next, I will analyze this trump card weapon's true power from three dimensions, technological breakthroughs, practical combat effectiveness, and international strategic competition, and how it turns traditional weapons into toys. I lightspeed blade, the cosmic javelin that rips through all defenses. As early as the Cold War's technology race in the last century, the United States took the lead in 1958, launching a particle beam weapon research and development program codenamed CESA. This highly anticipated military technology project accumulated a massive investment of up to $794 million over its 14-year research period. At that time, American research teams attempted to build particle beam launchers using traditional accelerator technology. However, constrained by the material science and engineering technology bottlenecks of the time, the developed accelerators were not only colossal, requiring the space of several buildings, but their operational energy consumption was also astronomical, a single full-power operation consumed enough electricity to meet the daily needs of a medium-sized city. The excessively high technical barriers and cost pressures ultimately forced the program to a quiet halt in 1972, becoming a forgotten technological gem in the Cold War arms race. In stark contrast, Chinese research teams have achieved a leapfrog breakthrough in particle beam technology. The resistive acceleration ring technology, introduced in 2023, employs entirely new superconducting materials and magnetic confinement design concepts, successfully reducing equipment energy consumption to 20% of comparable European and American devices, while achieving a significant threefold increase in beam intensity. This technological innovation not only significantly enhances the portability and sustainability of particle beam weapons but also makes the deployment of related equipment a practical possibility. In contrast, the European Large Hadron Collider, LHC, a monumental achievement in human scientific exploration, can accelerate protons to 99.999999% of the speed of light, bringing revolutionary breakthroughs to high-energy physics research. However, this gigantic underground scientific facility, with its 27-kilometer circular tunnel, cost over $10 billion to build. Its immense size and extremely high operating costs mean it can only serve basic scientific research, making it difficult to deploy in the rapidly changing scenarios of modern warfare. China's particle beam approaches the speed of light, 
taking only 0.1 seconds to travel from Beijing to New York and back. A beam 0.1 mm in diameter can instantly penetrate 10 cm of alloy armor, as easily as popping a balloon with a laser pointer. In last year's anti-missile test, the electronic bay of a simulated intercontinental missile was incinerated when it was still 10 km from the beam, its guidance chip melting into slag. In contrast, the U.S. THAAD system's interceptor missiles have a radar range of only 200 km and cannot intercept hypersonic missiles. At the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, the $2.3 billion Sea Stone Project Laboratory has been relegated to a mere exhibit, this Cold War-era particle beam weapon program, after 47 years of research, was ultimately abandoned due to excessive particle beam attenuation in the atmosphere and accelerators the size of football fields. In stark contrast, within a top-secret base at the Jochuan Satellite Launch Center, Chinese research teams accomplished a seemingly impossible breakthrough in five years, their independently developed compact superconducting accelerator compressed equipment volume to the size of a shipping container and their unique ionized gas injection technology reduced particle beam transmission loss in the atmosphere by 92%. At the superconducting magnet debugging site, where temperatures reached minus 269 degrees Celsius, chief scientist Zhang Mingyuan's index finger bore permanent frostbite scars from prolonged contact with liquid nitrogen. A team led by young researcher Li Wei stayed at the Lanzhou Heavy Ion Accelerator National Laboratory for 182 consecutive days, overcoming the challenge of particle beam focusing precision through over 30,000 simulation experiments. While Europe and the US were still grappling with the contradiction between megawatt-level energy consumption and multi-ton equipment, China successfully mounted particle beam weapons onto aerospace carrier platforms, the Tianwen system, deployed in low-Earth orbit, can launch high-energy particle streams at 200,000 km per second instantly vaporizing enemy missile warheads as they complete their boost phase. This technological breakthrough has completely overturned the air defense and anti-missile systems established since World War II, rendering traditional interceptor missiles as archaic as Stone Age spears, utterly defenseless against space javelins. 2. Electromagnetic Breaking, the Invisible Killer That Blinds and Cripples Missiles In the field of modern electromagnetic weapons, the technological competition between China and the U.S. shows a clear generational gap. Take the U.S. AMP electromagnetic bomb, for example, its peak voltage is strictly limited to the 1 million volt range. This parameter not only restricts its killing radius but also makes it difficult to penetrate the protection threshold of modern military electronic equipment. In stark contrast, the electromagnetic pulse peak of China's particle beam weapon can reach 1 billion volts, this figure is not just a simple order of magnitude jump, but it means it can generate a strong electromagnetic killing zone with a radius of tens of kilometers, instantly paralyzing the electronic systems of high-value targets, including satellites and early warning aircraft. The U.S. military initiated a neutron particle beam weapon research and development program codenamed Prometheus as early as 2019, investing over $2 billion in special funds, attempting to complete full-process testing of a space missile defense system by 2023. However, limited by the problem of particle beam energy attenuation in the atmosphere and superconducting material bottlenecks, the project has postponed key milestones three times in a row and has yet to pass ground-based interception tests. In contrast, in a top-secret anti-missile test in 2024, China's particle beam weapon demonstrated disruptive combat effectiveness. When a simulated intercontinental missile entered the designated airspace, the particle beam launcher released a high-energy particle stream in a 0.3-second pulse mode. Although no physical collision occurred, it created an induced current of tens of thousands of amperes on the surface of the target missile body through electromagnetic induction. This remote disabling soft kill method directly caused the missile's navigation ship to melt and its attitude control system to fail, leading it to lose control at the edge of the atmosphere. In comparison, the U.S.'s proud THAAD terminal interception system and Patriot air defense system, when faced with such non-contact electromagnetic attacks, could neither warn nor counter, completely exposing the technical shortcomings of traditional hard-kill defense systems. 
The electromagnetic pulse generated by the particle beam can burn out electronic equipment within 10 kilometers, while the U.S. THAAD system's interceptor missiles have insufficient maneuverability and, after exhausting fuel outside the atmosphere, struggle to even intercept medium to long range hypersonic missiles. More critically, China's particle beam weapon is unaffected by natural conditions such as clouds, fog, or smoke, allowing for all weather operation, whereas the performance of U.S. laser weapons significantly degrades in rainy or snowy weather. The Integrated Air Defense and Missile Defense Combat System that the U.S. spent 20 years building is still struggling to intercept hypersonic missiles, while China's particle beam weapon can instantly cut off power to enemy weapon systems with just an electromagnetic pulse. This dimension-reducing strike not only disrupts the traditional balance of offense and defense but also makes the meticulously developed U.S. missile defense system incredibly vulnerable. While the Pentagon is still debating how to increase the radar power of the THAAD system, China has already redefined the rules of war with particle beams. Three authoritative Skynet, seamless defense from surface to deep space. In the race for space-based particle beam weapons, the United States has invested enormous resources in developing space-based particle beam weapons since the Star Wars program of the 1980s. However, constrained by the technical bottlenecks of the accelerator's core components, the magnetic confinement system and particle acceleration modules, their developed particle beam generators weigh over 50 tons per unit, with a volume comparable to a small mobile power station. Even using the most advanced launch vehicles, they cannot overcome the payload limitations of low Earth orbit. In stark contrast, China's CTC 14th Research Institute, through innovative integration of superconducting quantum interference technology with compact magnetohydrodynamics, successfully developed the world's first 10,000-ton level electromagnetic device capable of space-based deployment. This device not only compressed the core equipment volume to 12 cubic meters, only one-third of comparable U.S. equipment, but also, through a topologically optimized power transmission network, dramatically reduced unit energy consumption from 1500 kilowatt hours slash shot to 300 kilowatt hours per shot, a reduction of up to 80 percent. This breakthrough completely rewrote the history of space-based particle beam weapons from theoretically feasible, practically difficult to feasible, giving China key initiative in space offense and defense. In